All right, everybody, I've got some exciting news. This, all you see right here, is the start of my energy independence project. This is all gonna put me into the realm of self-reliance and not dependent on the grid for all of my power needs. And what this is, is an entire solar backup power system for if there ever is a power outage. And this is brought to you by EcoFlow, which is a great supporter of the channel that has awesome solar power products. I've got links to them down in the description in the pinned comment, and anything you buy from them helps support this channel. And right now they have a really good Father's Day sale going on. So you might wanna check it out if you're looking for ways to be more energy independent. But I wanted to share this with you to give you the idea of what I'm putting together, what this will help me accomplish, and then down the road, we're actually gonna do a full installation video as well as a video showing all of its capabilities and overview once everything's installed and set up and ready to go. So as an introduction, we'll go ahead and start with the fact that the whole system is built off of two EcoFlow Delta Pro units. Now each unit can put out 3,600 watts of electricity, which is huge. And together, obviously, that's 7,200 watts of output. And they each have a 3.6 kilowatt hour capacity. So you can actually expand that using additional battery packs and eventually expand the system all the way up to 25 kilowatt hours. And at that point, you've basically achieved energy independence using just solar power, which is amazing. But 6,500 life cycles on these also allows you to have quite a bit of time before they need to be replaced. So these things are all really innovative and very modern in the sense of solar generating equipment, and not to mention the fact that they can be charged from just about anything. You can charge these from the wall, from your vehicle, obviously from solar power, and they can even be charged with an adapter at EV stations now. So if you go to a Tesla station, you can plug them right in and be good to go, which is cool because what's really nice is that these are extremely portable. They're very big and heavy heavy, but they actually have a handle right here on the front that allows them to be moved very easily. And what's nice about that is if you wanted to use something like this for a bug out power supply system, you could easily throw it in the back of your truck and then go fill it up at a Tesla charging station or wherever you are, where you're able to plug it in into a wall or just use your vehicle itself and have a continuous source of power off grid or out in the wilderness or wherever you might be. So there's a lot of options in the sense of what you can do with these units. Now, they have outlets all over them, all the usual outlets, USB, you know, AC, DC, but they also have a 12.6 volt 30 amp Anderson port in case you're into RVing and stuff like that. So they do have that port as well now. So if you have an RV, you got full power capability with one of these units. Then they also offer what's called a double voltage hub. And what's cool about the double voltage hub is that it connects the two of them together and then allows you to access the 240 volt outlet right here, which then will power any major appliance in your home you would need. This will power your dryer, power just about anything, let's be honest. Even an industrial heater, it can handle that for a certain amount of time. This is an amazing system. It literally can do everything you need it to do. And they've thought about every way to overcome any challenges that you might run into in the sense of power consumption. Now, what else does this come with? Well, there's a few things you need for this to be an energy independent system, especially during a power outage. One of those things, bear with me here for a second, is this smart home panel. So the smart home panel, what it is, is it's basically an interface that connects and integrates into your home's circuit board, okay? And then what that does is it basically ties into your breaker, and if your breaker loses power, this kicks in and overcomes it and then delivers power to 10 circuits of your choosing throughout your household. So this allows you to power things like your water pump, maybe your water heater, possibly even your heater, depending on what type you have and how much power consumption it has. But for me, I'm more concerned about the fact that I'll keep my pump running, I'll be able to have my kitchen going in the sense of appliances, aka refrigerator, stove, oven, all the things that really matter. And then obviously important power zones throughout the home where I need the access to electricity due to whatever equipment might be in there. So this is really a game changer. And what happens is that each of these EcoFlow uh, Delta Pros plug right into the smart home panel, and then this is your backup generator system. And then because those are so mobile, what's cool is you just literally unplug them and take them wherever you want. Even if you just need to take them outside to get maximum solar efficiency or whatever else it is you gotta do with them, there's a lot of different options that this brings to the table. And this is a unit that has to be installed into your home and wired in and integrated with your current breaker system. Now. I'm actually gonna hire an electrician to do that work for me to make sure it's done properly and correctly and so I don't accidentally kill myself. The other thing that is really cool about this whole situation is that it gives you a bunch of relays. You get 15 amp, 20 amp, and 30 amp relays, which 
basically covers just about anything in most homes. I think for me, it might not cover my furnace, but that's okay. We have alternate forms of heat and we can allocate that power to other units that won't consume the battery life so quickly. Um, but at the same time, it also has innovative things like this Delta Pro remote, which is basically like a thermostat for your backup system. And what it does is it connects via Bluetooth or ethernet cable, and then it tells you your power readouts. It lets you manage the batteries and it lets you manage your energy consumption right here, wherever you basically mount this thing. So I'm gonna mount it to the wall and be able to see no matter where those are located in the home, whether or not my power consumption is where it needs to be, or if I need to ration it more, or I can turn it up a little bit, whatever I gotta do, it's all gonna be right here, easy, friendly, um, and user-friendly readout. Now, one thing that's cool is they also have an app that integrates with this whole system too. So as long as your phone is still good to go and everything's working in that regard, you can access it via your app. So you have your phone, you have the remote thermostat basically is what it looks like, but it's really a power management system. And you have the ability then to move it wherever you need. Now, the one thing that I'm still missing from the puzzle right here that is pretty obvious if you can't tell is actual solar panels. Well, here's the one thing you wanna keep in mind, okay? I've got a EcoFlow solar tracker that is basically on back order that they're gonna be sending out my way. And that solar tracker is gonna be mounted somewhere in the vicinity of the home. It's gonna have solar panels mounted to it. And what it does is it actually follows the movement of the sun throughout the day to make sure it's getting maximum solar efficiency, which means I'm gonna have a really powerful system all in one built together and integrated into the home once I have that unit. But because of supply chain issues and everything else going on in the world right now, it's having a hard time getting here, which is why you might want to take a look at some of the stuff EcoFlow has, because even this smart home panel I just showed you, I believe is sold out right now. There's a few things that you can't even acquire if you want them due to what's happening in the world, which is why you need to make moves on this kind of stuff before you find yourself in a situation where you can't access it, especially with microchip shortages and everything else coming out about how silicone is going to be coming into sh uh, short supply here very soon. These are things that you definitely want to be thinking about. Now, I know what some of you are gonna ask. Well, how much does this cost? It seems really expensive. I'll be honest with you guys, it is really expensive, okay? This whole thing I just showed you right here is gonna be $1,400 when you include the solar panel um, and tracking system. I mean, that's a lot of money, or $1,400, $14,000. Sorry, I didn't wanna get you too excited there because that would have been a little bit easier to pull the trigger on, now wouldn't have it? The problem is, is that this is good quality stuff that requires a lot of technology and a lot of innovation and it's expensive and it is what it is, but you get what you pay for and $14,000 at the end of the day to have a fully dependable off-grid system, especially just in the event of a basic power outage is a pretty big deal. And then also, if you wanna expand this with those additional battery packs and really make it so you can shut off the, the you know, circuit breaker outside and just solely run on this system, well, now you're talking another $5,600. So for about 20 grand, you can have full energy independence using EcoFlow products in their systems, which is pretty insane, okay? This is innovative stuff. And like I said, the fact that it's portable is huge, which I like a lot, because then I can take that stuff, throw it in the back of my truck and do whatever I will with it. Um, but then I can bring it back home, plug it back into the smart home panel and be good to go. So this is all very exciting to me. I wanted to share this with you all. I'll give you some close-up shots throughout the conversation just so you're aware of like what some of the things are that I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, this is stuff that we all strive for. This is energy independence. This is what we wanna do. Get off the grid, be more self-reliant. And let's be honest, those who are in power can use the grid to control us very easily, especially in urban environments where the grid is also connected to your water supply. So these are all considerations to be making, especially in tumultuous times like these. And I wanted to just let you know that this is a project I'm working on. Expect future videos where I'll show you the installation process. Expect a future video where I'll show you the overview and the entire capability of the system once everything's fully installed and integrated. But for now, I at least wanted to show you what was here and what I was working on and give you some ideas about things you could be doing as well that you might not have known about otherwise. So if you're interested in this stuff, like I said, there's links down in the description as well as a pinned comment. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Yes, EcoFlow does sponsor this channel and does support me. So I do appreciate them sending me this equipment to share with you all and to make myself better prepared. But if you have anything you need from me, always go to magicpepper.com, send me an info uh, request form. I'll do what I can to get back to you. And besides that, that's gonna be it for Magic Prepper.